Welcome back to Cliffhanger Select. Or not. Guess what? It's a glove! The glove was the insulator. I found this near the locker. A thin rubber glove. Space? We can't... Yeah, sorry, I've got... Like, I can't even hear you yeah. over them. And I'm in another room. Ugh. Everybody's so loud. Yeah, it's almost like... <clears throat> but we can't be sure uh, that was in the victim's locker. It has a tag that says SL9 Incident. The video seems to depict the victim opening the locker. But that isn't the case. The lit lamp attests to this. On the day of the crime, even I could have opened that locker. Is this not so, Officer Meekins? Sir? It would be so, sir. Sir. Of course, that's so, sir. Order, order, order. So, are we to believe then that the victim, who is this witness stabbed in the evidence room, was not Detective Goodman? Do not be misled, Your Honor. What do you mean, Mr. Jeff? The defense has merely demonstrated that possibility and nothing more. The victim in the video was indeed Bruce Goodman. The prosecution will offer one more testimony to prove this. What? Officer Meekins, please testify about this. Sir, me, sir? I'm not sure what you're referring to, sir. Oh, oh, you mean that, sir? Of course, sir. Is this a joke? Very well, you may begin your testimony. There's one other thing that proves the man that's detective Goodman, sir. Fenton's evidence room, one must use their ID card. An ID card is used to record it. There's a record of it. At the time of the crime, the detective had used his car. Okay. An ID card uh, record, I see. I have the ID card record right here, Your Honor. The ID used at 514 is that of the victim. Just before the crime? Mm -hmm. Yes, without a doubt, this is the victim's ID. However, one thing that struck me as unusual. Several hundred cases should have been due for transport. Why were there so few people using this room? This particular evidence room is only used for storing certain special cases. Special cases? Extremely violent cases involving police staff. Just hearing that makes my hair stand on end. Me too, although it doesn't make much of a difference. There are only a few cases up for transfer over there, and most were cleared up by noon. Right, I see. Now, let us move on to the cross-examination. Alright. Well, we know for a fact that his ID was actually at the prosecutor's office. Because that's where he picked it up. Mm-hmm. So, unlike your earlier testimony, you believe this to be rock solid, do you? Yes, sir. Some of the same, sir. My hand was wrapped in bandages. I'd have to give you a victory sign, sir. Can you just use his right hand for that? Gotta hold the microphone. Let's hear him out fully. My voice is gone. As we've seen, no other, uh, no, uh, what, no, never, one. one never knows what might say until the very last. Thing. I don't know what I'm saying until I'm actually <laughs> saying. <laughs> uh, so yes, we've already seen that. Yeah. Earlier, I believe you testified that when you asked the man to show his ID card, he pulled a <coughs> knife on you. Yes, sir. He didn't show me your ID card, sir. Don't you think that's odd? I mean, if he had his ID card, all he had to do was show it to you. There wouldn't be any reason to draw a knife. Maybe he just packed Everything stems from contradictions. Let's point them out. All right. That's just the, the end of testimony thing. Hold it. No. We found it at the prosecutor's office crime scene, so obviously. Wait one moment, Officer Meekins. I'm not good waiting, sir. 
I have the victim's ID card right here. I found it at the crime scene. That makes sense. When I say crime scene, I'm not referring to the evidence room at the police department. I mean the other crime scene. The underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. Your Honor, I have one more piece of evidence to present. It's a very important clue regarding the victim's ID card. A lost item report. It's only half completed. But it shows that Detective Goodman had lost something on the day of the crime. Something important enough to fill out this report. Let me guess. You believe this something to be his ID card, right? I can't say for sure, but there is a high probability. On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman was not carrying his card. Ora. So now, what does this all mean? It can only mean one thing. It doesn't even require much thought. The man Officer Meekins encountered in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman, but rather the man who stole his ID card. Order. Does the prosecution have a response? I have only one thing to say to the defense. Bravo, Mr. Wright. Bravo? Allow me to summarize the defense's argument. At 5.15pm on the day of the crime, the man in the evidence room Officer Meekins encountered was not Detective Goodman. There are two grounds to support this. First, the locker in the evidence room was already unlocked. Second, the victim lost his ID card. Am I correct so far, Mr. Wright? Yes. What's he up to? That being the case, we must inevitably arrive at a single conclusion. If the victim in this video is a fake, then the murder in the evidence room is also a fake. In other words, the security camera does not show the incident of the murder. Uh, that is... well, I guess that's right. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Only moments ago you seemed content to be pointing your finger around. This isn't gonna end well. Well, well, it seems you finally realized exactly what you've gone to such length to prove. Explain yourself, Mr. Edward. The defense has already done the exp explaining for me. The victim in this video is a fake, which means a murder did not take place at the police department at 5.15 on the day of the crime. So... So the real crime could only take place at one location. The underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The murderer being Miss Lana Skye, the defendant. The evidence is compelling. A trustworthy witness. Observe the moment the defendant used the murder weapon. Yeah! Well, uh, we whoopsed on that one pretty hard. I knew that testimony was way too shabby. It was all a trap from the beginning. The activity in the evidence room still leaves many questions unanswered. Who exactly was the victim? Officer Meekins interpreted. And where did this person disappear to? However, this trial's purpose is to only uh, examine only the murder of Detective Goodman. Just so, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, you have to do something, or else Lana... What do I do? How am I supposed to get myself out of this mess? Uh... Object. <laughs> One moment, Your Honor. What now, Mr. Wright? Don't tell me you're objecting to what you've just proven. Of course not. But I almost walked right into the prosecution's trap. What are you talking about? This cross-examination has proven one thing and one thing only. The security video did not show the actual murder. Yes, we get it. Video. God damn it. <coughs> is it now finally going to that last piece where he stuffs it into the other weapon? Hooray. However, it cannot be said that this is unrelated to the murder in the parking lot. Specifically, large amounts of blood traces were found in the evidence room. 
The defense demands further examination into the truth of the matter. Mr. Edward. Yes, Your Honor. If this court were to examine this further, other witnesses will be necessary. Is the prosecution prepared? I'm sorry, Your Honor. The prosecution considered the incident at the police department to be unrelated. We have not prepared any other witnesses for this incident. This just might be my chance. Time to call a certain Texas Ranger to the stand. Mr. Wright, do you mean... Your Honor, the defense would like to request a specific witness. Oh, whom do you have in mind? Someone we have reason to believe knows the truth. The truth behind the activities that took place in the evidence room. The prosecution requests to hear this person's name before deciding whether or not to comply. Very well then, Mr. Wright. This person whom you would have testified. What is his or her name? I mean, not really a question. Yeah. Officer Jake Marshall. Why him? I can't let Edgeworth know everything just yet. He's in charge of the evidence room. I feel we should hear what he has to say. The prosecution agrees to the defense's request. Since he was responsible for guarding the room, we should hear his testimony. Fortunately, he works in the police department. We shouldn't need longer than 20 minutes to prepare. Very well. Court will now uh, take a 30 minute recess while the witness is subpoenaed. Subpoenaed. Will the prosecution prepare the witness during this time? We will, Your Honor. Court is now in recess. Hey, they got that right. Yeah. It's not, ad <laughs> it's not adjourned, it's in recess. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah. There's no stopping you, is there, Mr. Wright? Huh? What do you mean? You called for Jake Marshall. It seems you figured out everything out. Uh, I haven't figured anything out. Lana, you're the one who knows everything. Emma, you always know everything. Why won't you just tell us? Mr. Wright is trying his hardest to protect you. I, I don't recall ever asking for his protection. How can you be so cold? Don't you trust us? Don't you trust me? Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. Oh. Guess I am. I'll come <laughs> back later. Wait, Detective Gumshoe! What is it? You got a lot of nerve, pal, making a detective run all around while on duty. To top it off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. Sorry, Detective. You better be, pal. Hey. Hey, 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 hey! I didn't see you there, pros Chief Prosecutor Sky. <laughs> That's okay. So, have you brought what I asked? Oh, 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 oh can I bother you to bring me the SL9 incident files? I'll need them by noon. Talk about crazy. The SL9 incident? But Lana, that's... I thought Mr. Wright might need them, so I had them brought here. Here, you might do well to read them. I can't believe you, the chief prosecutor, were a witness in that case. Miss Skye was a witness? Joe Dark Killings. Take it from me, you don't want anything to do with serial murders. Oh, what? Now that I brought you your stuff, you're just gonna ignore me? Emma? But why? Alright, we need to look at this. This uh, is probably yeah. <coughs> a little bit important. Only a little bit. Closed. Perpetrated your dark crime serial murder sentence to death. Victims. Six victims. Edward Jones, huh, that's the name of an investment company in the U.S. Jason Edith Knights. Kirby, Jeb Bates, Jason Knight, Rachel Moss, Neil Marshall. Head prosecutor, Head prosecutor. Miles Edgeworth. Witnesses, Lana Sky, Emma Sky. Executive yeah. investigators, Damon Gant, Lana Sky. Head investigators, Bruce Goodman. Investigator, Jake Marshall, Angel, Angel Star. Huh. Doesn't tell us much. 
Well, one thing kind of sticks out to me right away. Which is... Do you think Emma? Neil Marshall is related oh. to Jake Marshall? Maybe. Why is your name in here? What? My name's in there. I don't know. Unless... No, it couldn't be. Lana, this SL9 incident, is that... Well, that's the classification number the police filed it under. Two years ago, the rest of the world knew it as... The Joe Dark killings. The... Joe Dark. No. No, Lana. That's over with. No! Emma, wait! She ran away. Uh, you know what? I just remembered. I gotta be somewhere. Sorry, pal, but I'm out of here. Jake Marshall, Angel Star, Damon Gant, Miles Edgeworth, not to mention Lana and Emma. Everyone involved in this case is connected to those killings two years ago. This can't be just a coincidence. Mm. Knowing you, you just might be able to figure it out. Time to get back to the trial, Miss Ray. Best of luck. I better take a good look at this file. Oh, uh, I guess we're ending there. Jesus. All right. Well, things are heating up and going crazy. Because why not? Uh, so next time on Character Select, we will try to find out what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know anymore. Like, there's been a double murder. There's fake identities again. There's been a double half somewhat murder. There's been like a fake person, but a real thing and blood and I don't freaking know. So thank you. And there's been lots and lots of lunches. Lots and lots of what? Your foot microphone got out there. Lunches. Oh yeah, lots of lunches. They were probably delicious. God, I'm hungry. <laughs> you just ate before you started. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And space. Favorite lunch book, yeah. I, I'm really hungry. <laughs> what's your favorite lunch? Come on. Oh, what's my favorite lunch? Yeah, lunchbox, uh, whatever. Uh, I like a burrito. Yeah, burritos are pretty good. They're like the ultimate sandwich. <laughs> <laughs>